what we do is when we sit and we call it meditation, it's not meditation, it's preparation for meditation. You are preparing yourself for meditation. So you're sitting there and, and you're practicing every day. Let's say you're doing breath meditation, you're keeping your attention on your breath, you're breathing in and you're breathing out, or you're keeping your attention on your third eye, or you do a visualization meditation like what we did earlier today, that's preparation for meditation. It's not, we call it meditation. I call it meditation. I've already made five of them. Uh, that three of them been, is on my website. The other two are coming out. But those are not real meditations. We call them meditation, but they're not real meditation. It's preparation for meditation. We're tuning in and getting ourselves ready to live a meditative life. That's what we're doing. So when we're sitting here in silence, or I'm sitting like this, I'm tuning myself in for the actual meditation. The actual meditation is in life. The actual meditation, when you're living your life on daily basis, an ordinary life, not when you're on top of a hill, not when you're with your guru in India, not when you're making love to your loved one and you're in ecstasy. That is meditation, by the way. But ordinary life, everyday life, mundane life. That's why I say meditation is not an action. Meditation is something that happens on its own accord. You can't meditate. You can't just go there and sit there and try. Many of you have tried that. Many of you come to me, which I'm included. I used to be there too. Okay, so let's not exclude me. I don't want to make it sound like, oh, I'm so high up from you now that I don't have this thing. No, 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 no. It's not it. I, I've been there. I know what it's like. You sit there and you try to meditate and the only thing you don't do is meditate. Your mind is all over. I didn't pay this bill. I didn't do this. How come she never called me? Uh, oh my God, she's so sexy. Uh, oh my God, I got to fix my car. Oh my God, I didn't take my kid. Uh, I didn't buy this thing for my kid. I have to cook for my husband or my wife or I didn't pick up the clothes from a dry cleaner, blah, 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 blah. Your mind goes everywhere except being, being quiet. You're all over. Half an hour goes by, an hour goes by, and you haven't done any kind of relaxation. You just, your mind's been busy. Because that's not, med meditation is not something you do. It's not an action. I can't go pick up a basketball and go to the court and practice and shoot hoops. Because that's an action. I go for practice. I can go be rowing, you know, on a boat or I'm running or I'm training, I'm lifting weights or I'm dancing. Those are all actions. So the true meditation is not an action. So you can decide, I'm going to do meditate. Meditation must happen on its own accord. Meditation comes naturally. It comes on its own. What we're doing with what we're, what's happening right now, whatever jumping jacks we're doing, whatever techniques we're using, is preparation for meditation. Okay? Pay attention. We we'll sit here and close our eyes. That's preparation for meditation. That's not meditation. 
we call it meditation just for simplicity of exp explaining some sort of relaxation technique and some sort of method to take us beyond the mind because we're trying to learn how to be meditative and how to live our meditation. Real meditation in real life is to be present, to be here, to be awake of your surrounding, to be aware of yourself, to be aware of your action, and to be present with your action. So we're doing all these jumping jacks and all these sort of called meditation in order to learn how to be here in life, how to be present here. So when I'm drinking my water, oh my God, this water is kind of sweet, nice water. So now I'm present with water, drinking water. I'm not somewhere else. How many times you're making love to somebody and you're thinking about business, you're thinking about work, you're thinking of someone else? How many times that has happened to you? You're in the middle of having sex which is a great activity. I highly encourage it. If you never tried it, try it. You may like it. And you're somewhere else. You're completely somewhere else. That has happened to me many, many times. I'm not there. I'm everywhere but there. And that's a grand event that happens in life. You have to be lucky that is happening to you because you don't always get it. So how many times you're having this great meal? You go to this nice restaurant, you spend all this money on this meal, and then you get in a, your mind is somewhere else. You're worried about your daughter because she went on a party and she didn't come home, or you're worried about your bills or you're worried about your health and you're not there. You're eating this great, incredible meal that's been prepared for you and you don't even taste it. You don't even know what you ate or you're on your phone. You go sit to dinner with your family, with your partner, with your kids and you're all on the phone. Everybody's somewhere else except being here at, at, at dinner. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, no? Do you, do, you, do you relate to this? Anybody? Are you relating to what I'm saying? Good. Now, you, you, now you're getting a glimpse of what I'm talking about. Real life meditation is to be present here, to be here. You are, we are doing all these other spiritual work in order for us to be able to be here. And here, there could be pain or there could be pleasure. Here, it could be fun or it could not be fun. It doesn't, it, you know, it will make any difference. But can you be present here? Which is a very, very difficult thing happening right now in the world from old to young. The older people didn't have the information, the flow of the availability of teachers and information 